I'm actually here in London, in Smith and Smithfield. It's a very traditional little bar. I love this place. And I'm meeting Nicola. She's a really inspiring blogger, good friend of mine. She's also an ex-cruise ship director with the biggest personality um, you could ever meet. The thing is, I get it recording now. I just like, I, I don't mind, so that's the thing. And sometimes I put these cuts in the edit because it doesn't matter. All right, ready? Good. I think we should get a picture of this very moment okay. going on. Is mine's going to be 10 seconds, though. Oh, 10 seconds? Doesn't oh, matter. Where do we go, though? Do I, I think. Here? Well, if I do that, I can put the vlog over here, see? So clever. I think if I hold that up... <laughs> Selfie live on... Live on your vlog. Selfie. Thank you, Nick. Thanks, Jazzy P. Nicholas said voice. And Jazzy P. Legend. Morning. I've got a flight to Kiev at eight and my taxi arrives in half an hour um i'll talk to you when i'm a bit more uh, awake at the airport oh how much thank you very much thank you bye. take care see you later at the airport two hours before my flight. I think I get some food. In Kiev, 21 degrees Celsius. The weather's stunning. Although it's just an airport plane, so you can't really feel it. And I've got my winter kit on me. It's only flipping May. It feels like summer here, it's great. Middle of a boat pie in Ukraine. Um, I've got to admit, it's been a heck of a weekend. Going to have a great update for you hopefully by tomorrow. The Wi Fi has let me down in the Ukraine, so I won't be able to send the video to you. But I can tell you what, I had some really challenging things to work through. I found about out myself, found a pattern with what I do. But what I love about this is that this country is completely flipped. It's like England. So, like a second home for me. I think I'll be coming back. back from Kiev and it's been a tough one I'm actually feeling quite anxious about shooting this vlog so I'm going to set up the vlog now and uh, I'll talk to you in a sec I said I was anxious and this is why um, I'm missing the Ukraine and I also am desperately missing being abroad they say the grass is green and I probably agree with that but now I'm traveling abroad so much I'm also starting to feel quite alien with this country even though I spend five days working here I don't get to see much of the country as it is but when I'm abroad I get to meet all my friends almost virtually they're classed as family these days and that's tough Ukraine was a warm country it was very open it was very welcoming I went for Ukrainian food for one day and the food was fantastic. Uh, the river cruise reminded me a lot of, of England. Actually, the country is not too different from England in some ways. Don't laugh because genuinely there are parts of it that do remind me of England. And just overall, the event went really well. I had a great team of DJs. They really did a fantastic job. And the competitions also went exceptionally well. The atmosphere was brilliant. And I had a lot of quite warm and connecting conversations. What I also tried to do this week was try and do something different. I was going to film this and edit it as I went. It went fairly well until about the Friday. And then it was just a matter of managing time. And to be honest, I did have the time. But I didn't put as much effort into this. And I was very disappointed with last week's video. I also edited it on my computer instead of my phone and it didn't come out as well. The results weren't what I was expecting. The other thing has been letting someone in. Um, I did that about a couple of weeks ago and I wasn't expecting to let them in. They just found a way and that really pissed me off. If you want the honest truth, I don't let people in. And it still left me a bit upset because 
I treated that person pretty bad at this event and I actually pushed them away um, if you want to be honest and that really sucks because it's someone genuine I thought wow I've let them in that's unusual for me so that's going around in my head and I knew I did it I even said in the video there's this pattern developing and I just keep on running away which brings me on to my final question of moving abroad am I moving abroad to run away from England or am I moving abroad to find a new me I said this to my roomie and I said it to others. As I've gone on this growth journey, more positive people have started to surround me, more encouraging people. And it's a really strange thing to experience in this bigger dose. I've got it coming at me on YouTube. I've got these YouTubers. I've got Gary V, obviously, you know, encouraged me every day. I've got all these fantastic sources of friends and even family now. That are supporting me. I've never been close to my father. He sent me a supportive text message to do with some issues I've got. And I was taken aback by that. I was never expecting that. So all this stuff is going on in my head. And so my moods are swinging from negative to positive to negative to positive. I'm going like this. It's like a rope swing. I'm just up and down, up and down all the time. And I haven't experienced this much anxiety about myself and who I'm becoming since I started recording this and putting myself out there every week just gets more nerve wracking. I'm really worried that if I run out of stuff to talk about, what is there going to be to talk about? So lots of things still to process and I haven't got time to do them right now. If you have enjoyed what you've been seeing, click a like or comment on the post on uh, Facebook, on YouTube, or even go to my Instagram at JP Smiles. I'll see you next Monday and sorry for the delay in getting this out to you on Tuesday.